Hey Airsofters, welcome to the episode of Airsoft Mandalorian. We're playing at RPC Airsoft today in Fremont, New Hampshire. This game is round three of Dan and I's third time being at RPC. The gameplay right now is a nut house. Our team's objective is to hold nut house. Even if we lose control of nut house for uh, even 30 seconds at the end part of the game, we lose. So it's hold nut house or bust. Dan's and I plan is not to stay in that house or even near that house. We are going to kind of go on the outskirts of the section of the map where nut house is and take out any skirmishers trying to come up or any larger groups of enemies that are trying to make any really forceful headway into our territory. Stay out of our way or get shot. So just to let you guys know there is going to be probably two major scene cuts coming up because Dan and I literally just walk around looking for something to shoot for the first probably five, ten minutes of the game, it's really boring because we could not literally find anybody. It took the enemy forever to get up to where we were. So there's gonna be like I said, just two major scene cuts, but after that it gets really good, some awesome kills, great sneaking around, a lot of like kind of COD action, so let's get down to those great kills. Yeah, they're cool. Well we already shot them. No, we're defending the nut house. It's over nut house guys. All right, guys, we got spotted. Hey, Dan, I am blinking, right? Yeah. It's boot tying time. Hey, guys, like I said, a big scene cut. Dan and I have been patrolling the paths for about 15 minutes, and we're walking down a path, and suddenly we hear, there they are, and bullets come whizzing, banging, and powering out of the underbrush, and we're frantically cutting up the bushes as we're sprinting away. So now we have to make the decision of, are we going to A, go around a different way, or B, do the really dumb idea of turning around and going right back down the same path. And it looks like it's option B, the really dumb idea, but the more fun idea. So, you know it, the second time's the charm. They can't go 500. 450. Should we go through the woods? Okay guys, just want to give you a quick um, tell about where the enemy are. They are about 10 feet into the bushes along the corner of this path. Um, a great vantage place to be because you can't see them and they can always see you and they also cover both sides of the path, the corner and the straightaway. So you guys are probably wondering how did I even hit that guy? Well as soon as they opened fire and shot Dan, I knew exactly where they were and all I had to do was wait for one of them to move and let me know where he was. 
So as soon as Dan started walking back to respawn, one of them started to move out of the brush. As soon as he did, his goose was cooked. And in about a minute, I shoot the guy who's going to try to pull him to a medic. <clears throat> as soon as he starts to move toward his buddy, he's dead as well. This place where I am in right now is a great place as well. It uh, has great cover so that you can hide down behind this berm. Also, people cannot see you because it has great camouflage and it's like a nice screen. So, awesome place to hide and a good place to get some kills. Also, I gotta hide in a good place while I wait for Dan to get back and respawn. So let's see how this goes. Do not respond to this, but just hurry up and get back to where uh, I am. I'm still waiting. They're just blind firing. They haven't gotten me yet. I just got another guy trying to medic another one. Okay, what's about to happen is that a very unlucky sniper looking for a sniping spot is going to wander into my private grove, but unfortunately all he finds are my bullets and about two seconds too late, me. You'll notice that you hear the cracking of twigs, which draws my attention to his position. He doesn't even see me, he's not even looking for me. So screw you snipers, the submachine gun takes the day. You guys are going to get a kick out of this. Like that? Guess who? I don't know. Like, it's a very high end gun. I put a 9.6 in it and a, a uh, Lonex A1 in it. How'd it feel? <laughs> oh, I love it. I just got another one, dude. Asian dude with sniper. Hurry up. Dan, are you near? Alright, I'll watch you. Just make sure you let me know when you're coming up where I might shoot you because I'm really I'm really jumpy right now. Okay, just be careful when I want to cut into the woods. Come in on the right. Uh, cut into the woods, into the clearing where I am. Fire through more short burst. Again. Yeah, you're moving closer to my right, but you gotta come up a lot more forward. You're in the distance. Roger that. I see you, you're right in front of me. Okay, look to your right. Whoa. You got a Korean boy over here with his Glock 18. Come on. Come on, asshole. How'd it feel? What was it? That's great. Oh, want me to shoot you? There you go. Don't you blind? You okay? Don't come back and try to shoot me again. What? I know. Huh? Okay, there's a lot of radio chatter and people up there. Okay, you want to cut? Oh, 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 purple guy. He, he's out. He's out. Why is he going that way? Hey Dan, we need to cut in from that right in there. Cut in that side. Yeah, I know.
Don't try that again. Okay, we gotta move. Let me wind up my mag. Go off from this trail. Check the trail though. You ready? Okay guys, Dan's and I plan is pretty much very simple. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, that's the enemy spawn about 50 feet away from me right now. Not the best place to do. But like I was saying earlier, the plan, Dan's and I plan, is very simple. We are going to sneak up to a point where we are directly behind a group of enemies that is supporting attack on Nuthouse. Once we do that, we're in business. All we have to do is lay down some serious fire and cause some serious problems. But the tricky part is sneaking through all this undergrowth without being seen, heard, or discovered. So that's going to be lots of fun. But let's see how we can do it. And if we succeed in getting over there, oh, it's going to be a good fire. In a second, Dan and I are going to play the Oh, we're on your bro, bro, team purple man. You shooting at us. It's a pretty sneaky move, but very effective. Yeah, dude, what's up? Fuck. Not cool. All of you? I guess not. Yeah, watch her. Yeah, is exciting enough for you? No, you're not. Doug, you got your totally skin. Well, then why are you shooting us? We're purple. Well, no, we're totally skin. What are you talking about? This is great. Yeah. This is great. What?
Okay, so at this point, um, the enemies are pretty much sure that we aren't purple, but we're still trying to continue the ruse because they're still okay. like 50-50, like, okay, you guys purple, you know, with us and kind of making a mistake and are shooting you, are you us, or you actually skins, and we're like, dead. no, you guys are probably skins, that's why we're shooting you, and, you know, trying to keep the ruse going. Um, I'm trying to get a bead on anybody who's left. Obviously, there's a lot of guys staying there with dead rags, and I don't want to hit them again because that would just be rude and that's unnecessary, so I'm just trying to see who is alive, who's dead, obviously a lot of them are taking cover, there's like maybe two left, but there's a few more like walking up to find out what's going on, so that's where we're at right now. Damn, what do you want to do? How about move up? We got good cover. Yeah, it, it's, it's all like vines and branches. Oh, no, no, stay low, stay low. See his head sticking around the tree? You really can cut up the brush, man! shooting at that guy, he yelled a question over to us and said, is that the guy with the UMP-45 AEG? And Dan said maybe, and I said no, so it came out something kind of silly, so that kind of ruined that uh, surprise. Also, I was trying to keep the ruse going, but I think they kind of knew we weren't on their team, so that was into that ruse, but um, why he asked is that gun has a very signature fast sound to it. It also is very loud from the muzzle, and it sounds like a gas gun or a polar star. So a lot of people think it's a gas gun, but it's actually an AEG and it's very, very fast. So a lot of people are like, is that the UMP-45 guy? All the time always asking me, it's like, oh, you know it. It's a lot of fun to shoot yeah, that gun. No. So people always know the sound of it, and it definitely strikes the fear into them. At this point, Dan said we should probably move because more enemies are coming up and starting to flank us. I said, that's probably a good idea, so we're going to lay down some cover and start running away. Right back where we started. Right back where we started. Alright, let's go through let's go that brush over there. Both of you? Okay, so we made a big loop. And we're right back, like I said, where we started. So, our plan now is to hopefully do some more flanking movements, go to the left, and kind of make 
uh, wide right arc and hopefully be able to get behind some more enemies that might be attacking the, the nut house from the front. So let's back into the brush and hopefully do some more recon. Whoop, getting shot at. Time to get low. Again, a little bit of cover. Go further up. Up here, there's a good place for uh, for, uh, for cover and, re and repositioning. Ready? Let's go. Holy shit! Guess I'm not a fan of us. Say it to the camera. Right over. Shit. Pain in the ass, is. Oh my gosh. That was so much fun. Oh, guess what? I forgot to tell you, we're actually not purple. Yeah, sorry, we're not purple. Yeah, and there are two of us. Huh? Oh, nice. Uh, UMP 45 submachine gun. Is it the yep. yep. Uh, competition style, 234 bucks. Excellent gun. Are there lipos in there? No. Um, Lonex A1 with a 9.6. No. I, I just, I just, I don't like lipos. I don't like anything like that. I just like them to keep them pretty much stuck and getting cranked. You, sir, I could not get. Your head getting them popping around. But For a fat guy, you find a big tree. You're not that fat. Dan, God damn it, that's my gun. Alright guys, that's the end of that round. Yes, we did win it. Our team did hold Nuthouse successfully for 45 minutes, so that made Dan and I very happy that all our hard-earned recon work, crawling around the bushes shooting up the enemy, did something. Um, that was the last game of the day, so we're going to head back to my truck, unload and unstrap all our gear, and head home. <clears throat> Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the game footage. Dan and I certainly did enjoy uh, filming it. We had a lot of fun, a lot of good laughs, and we're always joking about that awesome ruse we pulled. I hope you guys enjoyed that part. Definitely with the star of that whole day was just pulling that awesome ruse. We're always looking to pull another one because they're just so much fun to play on the enemy. Um, thanks for watching another episode of Airsoft Mandalorian. Please like and subscribe and leave your comments below. And don't forget, get out there and play.